The largest fair in the Northeast starts tomorrow and vendors at the Big E were busy today making final preparations for the influx of visitors. 22 News reporter Kelly Thomas spoke with vendors from near and far who are ready for a successful fair season ahead of them. It's just a new adventure for us, so we're looking forward to it. Well, I think we're going to have a really good year. With just hours left until the Big E gates open, vendors were making final touches to their booths before thousands of fairgoers arrived Friday morning. We came early. We came over um, over the weekend and did bulk of our um, displays. The owner of Pottery Cellar in Westfield is one of many businesses set up inside the Better Living Center. It's her first time selling authentic Polish pottery at the Eastern States Exposition. We're looking forward to um, meeting people, um, growing our business. Another vendor from New York is also at the fair for the first time, ready to sell herbal tea. She's been setting up for the past two days and hoping for big crowds. We don't know what to expect, and so the whole experience will be brand new to us, which is exciting. Some of these vendors are just starting out, but for others, this is an annual tradition. A Connecticut vendor has been coming to the fair for over two decades with three booths. In their most popular booth, 3D interactive puzzles that light up and play music. It's really nice to bring joy to someone and to see them come back time, year after year. It's, it's nice meeting people. Fairgoers can also shop at the Craft Common Young Building in an avenue of states. Located in the newly renovated Connecticut building is a new exhibit from the Connecticut Science Center and a shop CT experience. Working for you in West Springfield, Kelly Thomas, 22 News.